I've always noticed this light was flickering like a horror movie, so I decided to order new light bulbs. I looked in my wallet and realized YouTube doesn't pay me enough for Amazon Prime. So I chose standard shipping, but it took six years to deliver because of Corona Talk. The package arrived and I went fast, guy. I opened the box and inside was a blank piece of paper with a little gold key. Maybe they delivered to the wrong person. Or maybe this was the start of new terrors to come. So no one told me to use a blue light, so I decided to take out my hair dryer from my toilet papers and began to work my mojo. After heating up the paper for approximately 367 minutes, an image of a doggo appeared. I took the piece of paper to my dog Polly. She took a sniff and turned into Dora the Explorer. Her impeccable sense of smell led me to a hidden package. Good job, Polly. I opened the package and inside was an old VHS tape. I don't think this was meant for me, but I'm curious. What's on the tape? So I went online to look for a VHS player to play the tape. After exactly two months, I took out my calculator from the rice cooker for absolutely no reason. Then I suddenly realized we had a VCR in our living room underneath our Bulbasaur. Unfortunately, the VCR was over 20 years old and was too dusty to function. I had no other options. I decided to convert the tape into a USB, which is what I should have done in the first place. And this is what I saw. So was this just a bunch of flashing lights, or was there more to the story? Okay, things just got really stranger things. As confused as I was, I knew this was beyond the comprehension of mere mortals. I had to bring in an expert. So I contacted my friend Herman. My turtle was named Herman, but this was Herman. He specialized and had a PhD in unexpected light bulb flashing randomly on a Thursday afternoon analysis. I messaged him on MySpace and waited for his reply. After picking my nose for the 30th time, he finally gave me a call. Hello? After carefully analyzing the footage, he told me he had no idea what he was looking at. I hung up the phone and realized I picked my nose 30 times for no reason waiting for her man. I went on to Google and looked up what flashing lights could mean. And of course, silly me. It was Morse cold. I knew I had to take drastic measures. I quickly got up, turned on my diffuser. The sweet scent of lavender allowed my body and mind to enter a hyperbolic state. It increased my brain's rate of knowledge absorption by 109%. Exactly seven years, I was able to understand 15% of Morse code, but it was enough. It was time. to a secret passageway, perhaps. I had to find out what was going on. It looks like someone had been up here for a while now. Thank you. 
Wasn't meant to keep people out, but to keep something 